All right, last chance of civilization just passed right there. We are left out here to our own devices now. This episode is called When Smart People Do Stupid Things. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are taking off in the middle of the night. Ah! With Atlee. I'm not going. And Pigeon. This the trailhead is here, so we have probably about two miles tonight. Two and a half. Two and a half miles tonight. Is there water? It looks like there's this little creek right here. Right is then that a creek too? Yeah, that's creek. And that's going right to that trailhead that we're yeah. supposed to be going to. Okay. Right, I'm going to grab Pigeon. So basically right now we had Atlee take us up to, uh, we're headed to Highlands Mary Lake. And we came from Durango. We're all the way past Silverton. Right now it's about 8 o'clock at night. We're just going to get dropped off in the darkness out here and start hiking. Because this road got a little bit burly for Atlee to drive back in the middle of the night. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head out there, try to make our way like three miles maybe tonight, and then hit up a camp. Or we might just try to find our way and, and hit up a camp along the way. And then tomorrow, we're going to show you this trail, which goes all the way to Highlands Mary Lake, up onto the Continental Divide. And then from the Continental Divide, we're going to hike all the way down segment 24 of the Colorado Trail to Mollis Lake. So it's going to be excellent. And pigeons coming with us. Middle of the night, we have made it to some sort of a camp area here and setting up our tents. We're very happy and really hungry. We got Colin tent right there and he's setting up. All right. Now it's the morning. We made it through the night, made it to a camp. So this morning we're gonna head up to the trailhead, which is a mile, a couple of miles away maybe. And then from the trailhead, which is on, what is that, road number four, highway number four? County road four. That's right, county road four. And from that trailhead, Highlands Mary Lake is only a couple of miles. So we're gonna try to go up there and maybe have some breakfast or brunch or whatever. Pigeon's ready to go. Pigeon. So that's Highland Mary Lakes. We are now headed up to the Continental Divide Trail and it is beautiful. So how many miles is it from the trailhead to Highland Mary Lakes? 
So I believe, don't quote me, I think it's like two and a half to three miles up to the lake. And then we're continuing on past the lake to go down to, and we're eventually making our way to Mollus Lake. That's right. And we're gonna show you all of it. We'll, we'll show you the top of the Continental Divide and then Mollus. But I'll tell you what, this is what it's all about. You're getting up, you're getting out. This is what you do. It's fantastic and it feels good and it reinvigorates your soul. And if there's any ways you could do it, you should try to get up and get out. Ow! Okay, so now we've hit up this other lake called Verde Lake or Verde Lake, which is pretty cool. Check it out. This would be an excellent place for a camp. Although there are no trees to speak of, the views are outstanding. So this is what a high mountain lake looks like. Sometimes you'll see people up here fishing and it's kind of interesting because what they do is they'll fly a little Cessna plane over these lakes and literally just drop the fish out of the plane and into the lake. And then the fish seem no worse for wear and they actually like being up here. So. Pretty cool cliffs that we were climbing by, getting up on top of that CT, uh, CDT, Continental Divide Trail. The, the cool thing about the Continental Divide Trail is that literally that's where the water hits the mountains and it goes off of one side or it'll go off of the other side. And you know, for us to be able to be on top of the Continental Divide and drink the water right from the source, I mean, you can't get any fresher water than that. And it just, it tastes good. <laughs> Glacial waters. And this right here has got to be the freshest water that you can get. It's coming right off the Continental Divide. Yeah, we made it to the top of the Continental Divide Trail. It's been a real hike to get up there. But this is uh, where you're taking the Highland Mary Lake Trail. And then you hit the Continental Divide Trail. And you take a hard right. And whenever you do that, what you're looking for are these poles. And there's another pole right down there. And that'll kind of tell you where you're going. You ready to start making the way, Colin? So have a long way to go, man. Let's go. Yeah, long way to go. Looking forward to it too. It's gonna be good. This is just so beautiful out here. So now we're gonna we're heading down Elk Creek Trail, and that one is follows Elk Creek the entire way, basically, which is really nice because we have water. And look at all the green moss, beautiful water. Pigeons loving it. Look at the views that we have. Look at all these down trees, a lot of lumber strewn all the way down this valley. It's really a pretty interesting sight to see. 
and this happens we think from avalanches and stuff but look, look at all this wood these are huge trees everywhere all the way down so there's a lot of work that the colorado trail foundation does these people come up here with chainsaws and, and cut it out so that the rest of us can enjoy the trail uh, without climbing over all these logs but this is kind of what this looks like these are all these logs out here and look at how beautiful they make this trail right in front of us and it, you know they just cut everything out of the way and it's a tremendous amount of work for those folks so if you could ever volunteer to help them or donate in any sort of way that would be the thing to do this is how we do it coming down you take a break by a creek soak your face so beautiful pigeon likes it too look at how relaxed those guys look So this is the bottom. This is the river, the train just went by. From here, it's all uphill. What we've just done is segment 24 of the Colorado Trail, headed up to Mullis Lake. Look how pretty it is out there. We're getting all packed up this morning. This is our last day. We're gonna head out. I think it's about only three miles from the bottom of these train tracks to Molis Lake. So that's what we're gonna do is head out there and try to try to finish it off. Yeah, and here we are. We've made it to Molis Lake. So what we've done over our uh, Labor Day weekend was we started on Highway 4 in Silverton. And we hiked up to Highland Mary Lake. And then we hiked up to the Continental Divide. And then from the Continental Divide, we got onto the CT, the Colorado Trail. Now that Colorado Trail was section 24 of the Colorado Trail. And we hiked that all the way back down Elk Creek to Mollis Lake. And it was a beautiful, beautiful hike couldn't ask for a better one and i would do this one again i suggest you go and try to do it too it is fantastic this is mollus